Ooh, baby. Uh, hey, what's up? Guess who it is, guys. It's, um, probably not your friendly neighborhood Trogdor, but yeah, it's, it's definitely me, Trog. Welcome back to, wow, it's the PTL. It's season six. You thought you were rid of me. There's absolutely no chance of that. Like the, yo, yeah, yeah, I, I, I dead ass thought I was like done playing competitive Pokemon, um, at least for a while, at least until we got like uh, new games and stuff. Like Gen Eight has just been like awful. Um, it's time for another draft analysis. So, so remember I did one for uh, season five, and then I uploaded one battle. Um, spoilers, I did awfully that season. I, I, I didn't stop uploading because of, um, because I just didn't want to show my 0 and 11 record that season. I just didn't have any time. Like I've been working from home. Uh, I just got tons of stuff going on, and I've also gotten addicted to a new game. So yeah, it's uh... anyway. It's time for a draft analysis. For season six of the PTL, uh, not this black and white um, Pokemon font trash. I, I want the regular Pokemon. Do I have enough Pokemon salt? Yeah, there we go. Pokemon, yes. So I'm I'm doing a art style art show style uh, draft analysis today, inspired by the one and only, your friendly neighborhood. Well, yeah, you know who it is. If you're watching this video, you you know who I'm talking about. So time for, to show you my skills as an artist. This, this Pokemon has a very nice hat. You can probably start to already guess what Pokemon I drafted round one. Yes, yeah, I, I drafted Tentacool round one. Like, the, ooh, this would be an amazing Tentacool. Let's see. There's another hair bit right over here and over here. And let's see. And spirals go out like this and out like this. And then the face, anime eyes like this, uh, two hands that are like this. Guys, I drafted Tapu Lele. I should have also mentioned this. I was 10th out of 16 on this draft, and I managed to get Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is going to go right over here. I've got some... There are like some weird designs on the Tapus like this. Like this. I don't know what color Lele is. It's mostly like purple, right? Yeah, that's Tapu Lele. Uh, I don't want to do red text. I want to do... Um, oh, wow. Good job, me. Um, I want to do... Uh, yeah, so this is not like that. Wow, this is why I don't do live Photoshop ever. Tapu Lele. Dorothea. Yes. Rasterize type. And merge layers. So this is my Tapu Lele. That was my first pick. And the most successful season I ever had in Pokemon was with Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele claimed like, I don't know how many lives that entire season, but it was redonkulous. I only went seven and five, seven and five but that was my most successful season ever. So let, let's replicate that. And I'll show you how we do that. Oh, first of all, uh, so Tapu Lele was 18 points. I forget what my budget was. I wasn't really paying attention to that. We are only allowed two Pokemon between um, the budget allocation of um, anything between 20 and 17 points. We are only allowed to get two. So this is my uh, first. My next Pokemon 
is. Oh, this is bad already. No, this is um. What is what does its face look like? It's right. Okay, so it does have this kind of thing, but it goes like this. It goes like this. It goes like this. It goes like this. Like this. Ah, oh, this is nowhere near swollen enough to be what what I'm thinking about, but but you'll see what I what I've got going here. Never skip leg day, guys. Don't ever skip leg day. Never skip leg day. Otherwise, you won't look this swole in your super powerful kicks. This is, you, you probably uh, were able to guess it already because I'm that good, good of an artist. Uh, and there are little bits of feathers on top here or something. Where are their, fe their feathers here? This is Hall Lucha. Hall Lucha. I got round two. Uh, I don't have a nickname yet for uh, Hall Lucha. Oh, was I seriously drawing Hall Lucha on the same layer as... This is why I don't do live Photoshop. Because I draw everything on the on the same layer. Seriously. There, now I'll make a new layer over there. No, that didn't even make a new layer properly. I'm just gonna copy that new layer. Delete this. Okay, now it's on a new layer. I don't do live Photoshop for a reason. Uh, I don't have a nickname for Halucha yet. It's probably going to be something like, I don't know, Machio, Leg Day, Get Swole. Uh, some some sort of like, I I know all my uh, my friendos who are super into like wrestling uh, are going to just be screaming at me about like my wasted potential for Halucha's nickname. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about a nickname, guys. Usually I come up with really amazing nicknames, but not today. Come on, right click. Merge layers. So yeah, this is Halucha, not not you, Tapu Lele. So I got Lele and Halucha, which is already busted. Like, okay, what does Lele struggle with? Steel types. What does Halucha break through? Steel types. What does Lele just bamboozle the bamboozle out of things that Halucha... What does Tapu Lele get? It gets psychic terrain. Halucha gets that, like, terrain-boosted, unburdened, just absolute redonkulous nonsense. Alright. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for my third pick? I don't think you are. You really aren't. So... This Pokemon has a neck. Let's let's see where is this? Let's see. It has has a body. It has legs. It has legs. Yeah, I bet after like my first two lines you were able to guess what it was because I'm that that great. And of course, it's wings. So I got my round three high dragon. Look at this absolute monster of a Pokemon. I drew it on the same layer again. Now I'm just gonna do everything on the same layer. Like I can't be bothered with this anymore. High dragon, aka um, Valyrian the Black Dread. 
High Dragon goes so well with these three. Oh my god. I've got like Psychic Action. I've got Fighting and Dark. One of those legendary trios that's like, you know, can't, can't sleep on this. I got my Fairy. I've got my Dragon. I don't have a Steel type yet, but that's fine. This, and look at this ridiculously insane offense, guys. Look at this. Fast, fast, fast. Power, power, power. Like, decently chonky. Can go Fizz Def. Has Roost. Has, like, Defog and stuff. Like, this draft, I'm so happy with. These top three, probably my favorite, like, top three picks that I've ever picked in a draft before. And it's gonna get better. Like, watch this, guys. I got... I just want to make sure that I'm doing these in the order. I don't want to just, like, say all the things that I got and out of order. The next thing I got, yes, it was this thing. This is one of the easier Pokemon that I can draw. You're thinking to yourself, what is that nonsense? Well, watch this. I got a lawnmower that goes zappy boy. Okay, so I've been very adverse to using uh, color, but let's see. This uh, this one actually needs the the green outline to to make it obvious that it is Rotom Mo, the lawnmower, the one and only. I want to say that this was actually the first Rotom form drafted. Or actually, I think Rotom Heat got drafted because like DFP wanted to get that like round three or something, and it got sniped. Yeah, but I got Rotom Lawnmower. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that in uh, that color text. I'm just gonna keep that standard. Rotom C. I don't have a clever nickname for this one. I usually have really clever nicknames for the Rotom forms, but yeah, not this one. Rotom C is fits pretty decently with these things. I get fast momentum. I get defog support. Well, I already have defog support, but this is an actually good defogger in that it is resistant to rocks and immune to all the other hazards. So in my opinion, one of the better uh, defoggers. I get Leaf Storm. I get Thunderbolt. Basically, I can muscle through the Pokemon that Lele has trouble with. I can muscle through things like Bulky Waters that Halucha has trouble with. I can muscle through a lot of things with Rotom that like Lele and Lucha can't get. So it's like, oh, look, more offense. Ha! Huh. Also, look at, you know, some good defensive synergy. That that That's important too, right? Right? I don't have enough space on this document. I should have done like... Uh, Moose style, and now I'll just make another document. Next up. Next up. You're not ready for this, are you? Are you ready for this? I already made a new layer. Wow. So I was really debating between... Uh, I, this, this is the round that I wanted to get a Mega. Then I started looking at things that I wanted to get as a Mega. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute. The base form might actually be better for me here. Ears. Eye. Arm. Arm. Belly. You already know what this is. You know that it is the one and only the one and only cannon. Oh, that just looks wrong. I got Blastoise. I had a. I was about to get Mega Blastoise, but then I remembered that uh, we're not allowed to use uh, Shell Smash with Mega Blastoise. Because let's be real, that would be the most broken thing ever. But I can still use Shell Smash as a regular Blastoise. 
I've gotten swept with that so many times. Uh, refer to my uh, Yoshi Kage Kira theme goes with everything. Losing at PTL, basically, uh, Smash Toys just like ran through everything. Blastoise. Raphael the Blastoise. Because number one, Ninja Turtle. Number two, Fire Emblem. Uh, Raphael, you know, the super strong man type looking guy. What did I get after Blastoise? Ah, yes. This is actually something that I've been wanting to try out for a while. I got... Can you guess what this Pokemon is? Yeah, I thought so. Oh wait, no, its face doesn't start there. It starts like right here. Does it have ears? I don't think so. It's got these swirly veins. I got Kappa Raja. Uh, yet another thing that I don't have a clever nickname. So Kaparaja is just a Pokemon that I've been wanting to try out for a while. It completes one of my holy trinities of a dragon, fairy, steel core, cha-ching. It, um, it's a chonky boy. It gives me, most importantly, it gives me stealth rocks, which I need stealth rocks on my team. I needed just something that's very bulky a good i wanted a good assault vest user wanted a rocker i wanted basically copper rouser was just like a lot of things that i wanted on my team at that moment in time which i'm, I'm actually very happy i've been wanting to use it for a while so yeah that's that so that's my um first six so let me just uh, really quick get a new document for the uh, the later six. All right, what did I get next? So this is the second part of the Pokemon. Ah, yes. Basically, I was looking at a number of things. Number one was what's I, I was just looking at like things that people have drafted. I'm already starting. I'm not counter drafting people. I'm just starting to think about like what kind of things I would do in prep what kind of sets I would run, what sort of roles I'm missing. There was a particular, like there, there's some things that I just noticed I wasn't doing so hot against and I wanted a particular Pokemon. Do Can you guess it already? Can you guess it already? I bet you can, because I'm such a good artist i pale in compared to comparison to like moose but i like drawing hexagons the ultimate hexagon pokemon is is this thing yep i don't know what its eyes look like just that it's kind of angry it's got this weird mouth looking thing. This is a cryogonal. Yeah, it's a absolutely beautiful cryogonal. Um, so cryogonal has a few things. It has fast, it has spin, it has ice, it has levitate. Mostly I wanted it for its speed tier and its typing and its immunities to, to uh, ground stuff it can be a good what do you call it boots it can be a good scarf it can be a good it can be a good a lot of things his eyes are kind of angry right there I have cry cryo cry cryo gone yep 
Hexadecimal. Cryogonal, yeah. Alright. Do you remember when, uh, earlier, when I was grabbing Blastoise, I was saying how I was thinking about Omega? Well, this time I was like, okay, it's either now or never. I needed Omega, and I was just like, you know what? If this thing is actually on the board when it comes to me, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go like all out, just like try me. Just, I got, check this out. How does this work? How do magnets work? Yours is the drill that will pierce the heavens. Yeah, shout out to all my Gurren Logon friends. With like, its defense is so bad that its body literally looks like this. Yeah, I got Mega B Drill. Try that one on for size gamers. Like, I got. Okay, okay, first of all, I have Tapu Lele. I have Halucha. I have Hydreigon. I've got a potential Smash Toys. I've got all this stuff. It was already, it's like, you're. you're okay, D2, Division 2, which, yeah, by the way, I'm in Division 2 because I went 0 and 11 uh, last season. <laughs> it was kind of. Huh, huh. Yeah, Division 2, that's fine. It's where I belong, let's be real. So Division 2 coaches, you're sweating already at this sites of these. And now I've got Mega B Drill, which you can't use priority against me. You can't sucker punch me, you can't ice shard me. I'm just gonna go like zip zap, flip flap, just like badip adap. Mega B drill, which is just gonna be some kind of tank Gurren log on joke. I don't know yet, but yeah, Mega B drill. I'm actually very happy that I got this. I was skeptical at first. I was like, yeah, I can get B drill. I was half looking at Pinsir too, because I've used Mega Pinsir before and it was like amazing. All right. Next thing that I got was this. The, okay, so there's a reason why I had a lot of trouble um, deciding on this Pokemon. And you'll probably see why. Wait, how do I draw? I'm horrible at drawing dogs, but at least that means I'll never be a furry, right? Like, if if your skills at drawing dogs were equivalent to how much of a furry you are, I would want to be a zero. Like, I would much rather be an awful artist than be a furry. But that doesn't change the fact that I wanted to get a spiky boy Wow, amazing, beautiful. Lycanroc. Not the uh, the Dusk or the Midnight version, just the normal Lycanroc. So here's my hang up with this. I can't use Excel Rock, which is pretty just like, uh, it's, if you're unable to use Excel Rock, so by the way, this thing was 10 points. Uh, 18, 15, 12, 12, 16, 10, um, 14, 
six. This, this was 10 points. So I was like, I'm really stretching my budget now. Uh, so Lycan Rock without Excel Rock is not really worth 10 points. But I wanted another rocker. I wanted a flying resist. I wanted, um, I don't know, some just click buttons. I wanted fast too. And Lycan Rock was really good at that. So it was like, okay, but I can't use my really good priority move. So I guess that's, uh, Fine. Oh, by the way, I know that my nickname is going to be Abu. I still wanted this on my team, even though I can't use my priority move. If I'm using Lele, then it's because remember that one battle in season three where I would have won if I was able to use a bullet punch for my Mega Scissor, but Psychic Train was up and it's like that was a whole thing and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> So I'm down to my, I'm down to like scraping the bottom of the barrel for my points. I've got six or seven points left. So there's some things that I wanted. I wanted something a little bit bulky. I wanted a fire type and I really wanted a wish passer. So I got this. Yeah, speaking of fur bait, I got... Oh, oh, that's awful. That's awful. Why? Yeah, you know what? Oh, oh, no. I, oh, jeez. What am I doing? What am I doing? Kara was being an amazing artist up to this point. And then I just get to my next pick and I just fumble it that hard. Just, what is wrong with me? What does this thing even look like? Which, oh, I'm looking at a picture of Halucha now, and I've realized how badly I messed up. Like, let's compare that to that. Wow. Oh, actually, not bad. Not bad. Not bad for Halucha. Uh, let's do... Alright, I'm gonna cheat a little bit for this one, because, like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm... Yeah. Right, the ears are more like this. And then, right, I've, it's got the hairdo. It's got the face with the thing. Okay, I can, I got it, I got it from here. It's got. It's got back leg and can't forget about the tail on fire. Yeah, it's Flareon. Probably the worst evolution. Second worst besides Umbreon. I don't even consider Umbreon a Pokemon. Flareon, aka Mega Entei. Uh, so yeah, it's basically like all the last things I needed to get on my team, like Wish Passer, uh, Cleric, um, Fire Type. Uh, it, it probably won't come to that many games, but when I need it, it'll be there and it'll be good. Uh, let's how, how badly did I botch Lycanroc? I'm just looking up uh, smell on things. All right, Lycanroc has a... Lycanroc has like these spiky things. Oh, wrong thing. Has like these spiky things coming out of it. And a much bigger tail. And like a mane. Yeah, uh, no, forget it. It's awful. And I had one point left. So you know what I had to do, the myth, the legend, the what's you call it. Okay, it wasn't Yanma this time. It wasn't my uh, attack helicopter. I got something better than an attack helicopter for one point. You wanna see how great of a one point pick I got? So, 
when Gen 8 was coming out, I said some words. Uh, I said some words about how since the region was based on, um, what do you call it? Since the region was based on the UK, and of course, like Her Majesty, the Queen of England, has a certain type of pet, that I said that if Gen 8 included a Corgi Pokemon, it would be redeemable. They did include a Corgi Pokemon, they got Yamper. Yeah, look at that Chonka right there. Oh my god, look at that amazing dog. Look at that. So I got Yamper. Just, just, uh, um, I had one point left. It's kind of a meme pick. Mascot pick also, which by the way, um, yeah, my team is the, you, you know it, it's the Yampers. So one point left and I, uh, picked up Yamper. Um, Janet was really bad though, not gonna lie. Like, yeah, they added a Corgi Pokemon, but they dropped the ball on literally everything else. You there, listener, viewers like you. If you actually like think Gen 8 was good, please tell me why. Because I could just like spend like, how, how long has this video been? 30 minutes? I could spend like 10 times as much time ranting about Gen 8 and how Game Freak does not care about us, how Nintendo just sees us as like a cash cow. Um, compared to the games that I've been playing lately, um, there's just so much content in it and Gen 8 was just a corridor. But I got Yamper. Look at, just look at that dog. Look at that absolute chonky, just like, look at its legs and I just like want to pet it. It's such a good dog. How many dogs do I have on my team? I have one, two, three. Um, yeah, I just have three dogs. So yeah, that's the squad. Uh, thanks for tuning into my art show. I can't wait to see everyone else's art show for their team, so... Recap, Tapu Lele, Halucha, Hydreigon, Rotom Cut, Blastoise, Caparaja, Cryogonal, Mega Beedrill, Lycanroc, Flareon, and Yamper. Solid team. I'm really happy with this. I'm looking forward to doing so much kind of prep with it. It's going to be a lot of fun, gamers. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, probably won't upload this league, but whatever. I only, the draft analyses are the videos that do the best anyway. And yeah, maybe, I don't know. We'll see if I, if I have time, which I probably won't. Cause I'm, I literally had like one afternoon to record this and the draft just finished earlier this morning. Anyway, so yeah, that, that was cool. Anyways, um, uh, cool. Thanks. Bye. Have a good one.